Okay, so we've got top goal for connection. You can either, you know, look at what things you've written down and kind of boil them down into um, their base essence and then include, you know, those things over here as like steps or items that would go toward meeting that goal. Does that make sense? So, you know, for example, I have homeschool. I also have like one-on-one -on -one time with my loves, regular homeschool, family game night. So while I, I circled homeschool as being the most important thing for this this year, because it's, it's my son's last year in high school, that's very specific. So I think I'm going to have that as a thing, but then like write, because homeschool is a project. So I'm going to make it a little, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. So instead, I'm going to say, increase quality time with my family and friends. So then I'm just gonna write down homeschool, one-on-one -on -one time, family game night, uh, potty train Callie because she refuses to be potty trained and I'm tired of changing diapers. It's gone on long enough. And then date nights. Okay, so specific, who, what, why, when, where, how. Is this a one and done task, project? So I'm going to increase quality time with family and friends by family game night each month, date night monthly, and homeschool daily. And then also one-on-one -on -one special time. I guess that goes for, you know, my, my kids. Measurable. What does the successful completion of this goal look like and feel like? How do I know when it's complete? When, when I feel that warm glow of connection, I guess. When I no longer feel guilty about working. Okay, so attainable. What resources does this goal require for me? Do I have everything I need to start or is there something missing? So what do I need for this? I need family meetings to schedule um, game nights and such. Resources are going to be time and energy, attention, because we don't want to be, uh, what's it called, fubbing people, phone snubbing people, you know, when we're with them. We want to be present and attentive. Realistic. What's the hard part of this goal? What's the scary part? What do I actually have control over and what is beyond my control? The hard part. Consistency. Follow through. A bunch of bird brains in this house. The scary part. Failure. The scary part. Emotionally damaging my children. Of course, this is, you know, a hyperbolic situation, I suppose, um, but it's something I'm like super paranoid about. What do I actually have control over here? I guess whether or not I'm present and I cannot control whether others are present. Okay, time bound. Really the, t the time bound um, stuff is like due dates and whatnot. That is going to be worked out out here, the seasonal quarterly roadmap. Once you figure out all of the things that you want to do, you can, you know, look to see is there, astrologically speaking, if you want to do it that way, um, a good time to do it? Are things aligning in a way to, to do things? You know, then obviously if things are bound to holidays or, or maybe you have certain appointments or something that are coming up that you need to work around, you would plot out all this stuff here and then go from, from there. So that's why time bound is not available for you to write in. So aligned, does this goal violate my boundaries or values? No. What values does this goal uphold? I guess compassion and love. What will I not do in order to reach this goal? These are, these are also, you don't have to answer these questions. These are just kind of prompts to get you thinking about this, the theme of, of, that box. There you go. Curiosity. Okay, so I will not use guilt to get my children to comply with family family time. Sustainable. Where will I face resistance? Probably Sonny, because he's a teenager and teenagers don't want to spend time with their family. What is my plan for rest and replenishment while I work on this goal? I mean, this is... This goal is basically rest and replenishment. I feel like I'm going to need to coach myself into, you know, tell, telling myself it's okay to take time because I, I, you know, have my own business. I want to, like, I want to be working on it. And I racked up a lot of debt, so I want to be paying down that debt. And the only way I can pay down that debt is if, if I'm working 
So my knee-jerk reaction is to just steamroll through my life, just like trying to get things done and in my shop. And that means that I would be neglecting my family and also neglecting my own needs which perpetuates this void, I guess, that I'm, I'm feeling, that I, I feel like I need to fill with buying stuff. So I'm gonna have to work on that. <laughs> support. Who can I get support from with this goal? Probably Nick. What specifically does this support look like in this instance? Well, okay, so I can also get support from Sunny, and Callie's five, so she's, well, she can be headstrong, so by being willing, by being willing, that's, that's all. And open. Let it be easy. All right, why do I want this thing? Because I've lost a lot of connection while working on my business. Honestly, it took me a while to realize that because I'm a hardcore introvert, but even introverts, you know, need some social interaction. They just need more time to recover after it. So my reward for completing this goal would, would be, um, feeling seen and supported and seeing and supporting others. I know that's that's its own reward there. All right, so then you can break down your top goal for this domain below if you wanna do all of the little steps and stuff like that. This is going to be, these are like habits, I guess, month, so once a month. This is going to be like a one and done, but it, it's gonna be a time sink to begin with. This is a monthly habit, this is a monthly habit. One-on-one -on -one time, I'm not sure. This is going to be daily, though. Top goal for rest and well-being. So I, I circle develop daily routines and stick to them. I'm going to just write that down. Since there are, you know, eight domains, I don't want to overcomplicate my entire life by, <laughs> by doing this. This is just me, and these are habits. Is there, is there, uh, no, that's just a habit. So I'm, I'm actually going to just go morning, evening. Measurable. What does the successful completion of this goal look like? When my items are automatic and I no longer need reminding. Attainable. What source resources does this goal require from me? Time, energy. Realistic. What's the hard part of this goal? Energy management. Pain management. What do I actually have control over? I control if and how long I do the habit. I engage with the habit. There we go. So if I was doing morning pages, I take a long time to write or maybe people just have a long time to write. So, you know, you're supposed to write three pages. I would just do 20 minutes because it takes a long time for me to write three pages and yeah just be ready to adapt things to how you want to do things. Aligned. Does this goal violate my values or boundaries? No. I'm just trying to trying to get things done sir. What value does this goal uphold? All right so yes it's, it's aligned it's fine. Um because I want to take care of myself. All right, sustainable resistance will come uh, if I'm in pain, if I'm depressed, or just generally, you know, low mood. So what is my plan for rest and replenishment while I work on this goal? Just do what I can. Support, who can I get support from? I guess Nick. He could watch, you know, the kids while I take a walk or something. All right, so then I'm just gonna peek back here. I wanted to meditate. I also need to be reading, so I'm going to put that in here even though it's gonna be tracked in my like financial thing because that's part of that goal specifically. But so read 10 pages. Exercise. I might do evening exercise. I'm not really sure. One and done. This would be after, after drop off. I wanted to do manifestation journaling. I'm attempting the five-year journal again. I'm gonna put manicure here. I have like a gift card or whatever for a manicure. I'm gonna try it. I don't know that I'm going to like it though. My reward for completing this goal. I don't know. Oh. oh, why do I want to do this thing? I want to take better care of myself. I think I will also do intermittent fasting. Okay, top goal for home and environment. I think I only really did, yeah, develop a regular cleaning routine. So that's, that's what we've got. And follow through. So I'm going to be using digital reminders to remind me 
of, of these things. So also clean mama and fly lady routines. I don't know how, you know, I've been trying to do this for two years and it still hasn't worked, but I have them programmed, like these routines programmed into the Cozy app. Um, so I'm going to try using the Cozy app. I just don't know whether that's going to, you know, overcomplicate things because I also have things programmed into Microsoft to do that um, I share with my husband but we're we're gonna try it again when in doubt try again I guess I'm also writing declutter new mattress maybe at some point this year my mattress is over 10 years old now and I brought it from a previous relationship and I I don't want to sleep on that anymore <laughs> but um you know, again, I, I racked up a lot of debt, so I just don't know if it's in the cards this, this year. I made my bed, now I must lie in it kind of thing, you know? All right, so this is a, this is a habit. Though, I mean, there are some projects, I'm sure. It would be nice if I could repaint stuff, but I, I just don't know what paint we still have in the basement. I would really like to do the computer room, and maybe, and well, I do want to do the bedroom, but we would have to get paint for that, so I don't think that's happening this year. But the, the computer room, I think, is small enough that we can mix paint that we already have to get, you know, a different color that is not going to be brown. You can't see it anymore, but I have a bedroom here that's painted like a, a gray-blue. There's a lot of, like, warm colors in this house because um, my, my husband prefers warm colors. And I've, I've noticed, or at least I've identified, why I like cooler colors, and that's, like because it soothes my anxiety. Warmer colors tend to make me feel a little, little smothered, whereas cooler colors feel more open to me. So, you know, take, take that as you will, I don't know. All right, what does the successful completion of this goal look like and feel like? So, calm, peaceful, clean house. No more piles. <laughs> Attainable. So this is going to require time and energy. Attention intention and money perhaps depends on what exactly we're doing um we also need to fix the toilet upstairs um there was a leak and now it's leaked through the ceilings and also the the bathtub upstairs was leaking we fixed the leak but the ceiling has a hole in it under the bathtub. So fix water damage in center room. So that would be project, I guess. I don't know if my husband's gonna hire someone to do that or what, but realistic, what's the hard part of this goal? I would like to have help cleaning the house. Um, it's not a giant house, but it's messy enough with four people who are messy to be, you know, quite a task for one person, especially when I have like a lot of other things on my plate. So I control myself and my own actions. I can't control uh, whether my family helps. Aligned. Yes, it's an alignment. That's fine. You know, again, trying to bring the word Elysian into my house, divine order, and, and all that good stuff. But also keep it a little weird and quirky because that's, you know, we're a family of artists, so. Elysian, but weird. What will I not do in order to reach this goal? I will not overextend myself because I've done that way too much and I, I just have to accept things as they are because when I overextend, you know, then I, I get pain flare-ups and then I can't do anything for like two weeks. So what gets done gets done. The rest will still be there. Sustainable. Where will I face resistance? Energy management again and family buy-in, I suppose. Uh, what is my plan for rest and replenishment? So again, listen to my body. Stop at the first sign of pain. Support. Who can I get this? Okay, yeah, who family. What specifically does support look like in this instance? Uh, helping me clean without having to ask them. Why do I want this thing? A clean house, clean slash tidy house, will reduce anxiety and decision fatigue and will free up my resources to put into us like other things that I care about. My reward for completing this goal. Um, I've said this before, I'm not super great at rewarding myself or even coming up with rewards. Usually when I think of rewards, I think of like physical things. I don't know. I'm gonna leave that blank. All right, so top goal for alignment and self-expression. All right, so we're going to post four videos a month. 
subject to change, of course, and then also write 30 minutes a day. So that way I'm still doing something tiny. All right, so now I'm just gonna transfer the yellow and the gray things. I want to go to like a cafe or a library to write maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks because um, I just, I have a lot of things going on. Even like these small little things, they, they add up. Just like microtransactions for your time and your energy and your attention. You know, writing 30 minutes a day and then reading 10 pages a day and journaling in three different journals and you know, like all of this adds up. And when you look at how much time you actually have, it definitely goes very fast. So like if, if you're if you're doing this and you're like thinking to yourself, wow, this doesn't seem like a lot, believe me, when you put all of these things together into your like trying to find places for them in your day, it adds up to a lot. And it might add up to so much that you can't possibly do it all at once. And that's okay. You know, like you're going to be going through different seasons of life, like during the summer, my daughter's going to be home all the time. And also homeschool will be over. So there is going to be a lot of rejiggering of time and what I'm going to be doing then as well. Because, you know, she's going to wake me up in the morning and then she's not going to leave me alone. So there goes my quiet, you know, quiet mornings with meditation and like what's it called yoga or something and i'm not waking up at five o'clock in the morning because I, I need my sleep and i tend to just go to sleep too late which i would like to change i also have noticed that if i don't journal at the end of the day all of the thoughts that i should be offloading are still in my head and they they're whatever okay writing habit here we go ready uh i also want to start a blog which means i need to redo my website i'm sorry if you hear my daughter by the way she's talking out there so i need to redo my website which means i need um new hosting but that's gonna be an investment there I don't know what I want to do. I also, so I, I've got two different domains. I've got momokeen.com, which previously was momokeenart.com, but I'm letting that one go and expire. And then I also have plannerpocalypse.com. Plannerpocalypse, I want to be an actual shop. And then momokeen.com would be more like, you know, blog and info and fun, fun stuff, I guess. That would be more like a, a hub. I actually also just started a Teachable account, but I have nothing, nothing there yet. I've got ideas, but you know, obviously nothing is ready yet. That, that might be a 2024 thing. So look forward to that, Te you know, Teachable courses. What else do I need? I need, okay, let's put Morningstar Academy, of course. I've never spoken about this publicly, so I'm a little bit nervous. Honestly, I'm like, don't steal my ideas, please. They're my babies. But yeah, Morningstar Academy runs on the premise of what would happen if uh, a normal human girl ended up going to a college, only she found out the college was for demons. So that's that's the premise of Morningstar Academy. It deals with themes about just, you know, coming to understand other people, um, especially people that have been othered, <laughs> um, people who have been literally demonized, and trying to find your place in, in the world. It's, you know, coming of age of sorts. But yeah, that's, that's in the future. <laughs> I want to make a story journal, an all-purpose story journal. I might use my B6 Stalogy for that, actually, or maybe the A6, I don't know. I also, I want to get into game making. I think that's a really fun way to tell stories, um, visual novels. So I've got a few ideas there. I've got a bunch of novel ideas here. It's, you know, just like, what are, what are we doing? So, for, uh, okay, where's my content planning? Regular content plan. And then I also want to do art journal videos and grimoire videos. Like I've mentioned in previous videos, if you've seen them, I want to do an astrology grimoire. I want to put together like my birth chart journal. I, I don't know what to call it exactly. It's gonna be basically going into my personalized birth chart and all of all of that stuff. <laughs> and I have one for each of my kids back um, when Archer and Olive had zodiac themed journals. So I, I got I got us all. I didn't get one for my husband. He doesn't need one. <laughs> yeah, my my son's just confused about astrology, so he's gonna just be like, what the hell is this? But um, when I die, he's gonna appreciate it because it's, you know, gonna have all sorts of 
painting in it and it's gonna be a labor of love okay so I brain dumped I should go into this thing okay so specifically this is this is I guess a habit but also projects because every video is a project correct measurable what does the successful completion of this goal look like feel like um how do i know when it's complete i i think that's pretty um pretty much outlined right there four videos per month on let's say on 70 percent of months and oh, right 30 minutes per day let's say 70 percent of days and and that's an at least i suppose attainable what resources does this require? Time, energy, attention. Do I have everything I need? Oh yeah, also I should write computer because that is a, a resource. That's a thing that I need to write, correct? A notebook, a phone camera for my videos. And I should probably go back and think about that. Exercise ball for yoga and stuff for my, my exercises. Um, just gonna whoosh. Alright, what's the hard part of this goal? Keeping on top of everything? You might end up with one video per month, okay? Like, and that's, that's gonna have to be fine. <laughs> Aligned. Does this goal violate my values or boundaries? What values does this goal uphold? I'm going to write compassion and curiosity, but the compassion is more like connection because I would like to connect with other people. I would like to, you know, go into researching things. Um, and, you know, it's funny because it does kind of go into what I'm passionate about, which is like astrology and art. <laughs> Did I write reading? Yes. Sustainable. Where will I face resistance? What is my plan? All right, so in instead we're just going to uh, do the 54321 plus Pomodoro for writing, and then we are also going to make a super good content plan in advance so that I know what I'm doing. I should probably start like time blocking or whatever, but I don't want to have that on my Google Calendar because then it's like all you see is all that stuff, but I guess I could hide it. But do you still get notifications if it's hidden? I don't know. Support. Who can I get support from with this goal? Making videos and writing? I don't know. It's made possible by viewers like you. <laughs> Who can I get support from with this goal? <sighs> um, My higher self. Let's just say that. There we go. And all my characters. For the writers out there, do you guys ever feel like your characters are real? Because I feel like my characters are real. Why do I want this thing? So I have no regrets when I die. For people who are like, why are you talking about dying? Um, you know, it's a Memento Mori goal planner. It's okay to talk about dying. All right, top goal for resources and contribution. So this is my money goal. So this is no spend year slash my makers year. So, okay, some of these things that I'm going to write down are like pie-in-the-sky dreams, okay? So, no judgy. Maybe one day I can get there. This is going to be my focal goal for this year, and I'm going to be starting a project, and I will be doing a, a new workbook and some budget videos for accountability. As I've mentioned, I will be joining Debtors Anonymous and going to meetings. I already did my Saturn altar, so I want to make sure that I'm- I have so many books to read. I'm not going to list them all here because there's- I, I have a lot and I don't remember what they are right now. We're going to focus on paying off debt. So in order to pay off debt, how are we gonna do that? We are going to eBay my vintage games which is very sad, but also I'm not playing them, so maybe someone else can play them and get joy out of them. My shoe collection, cloth diapers, which have been around, you know, forever, and I have not done anything with them. I think... Pay down... Hold on a second. Pay... The thing over here was to pay off 50% of total debt by end of year and i'm going to be working very hard to do so i have a course to take here to help me with that and we've got budgeting which it will be part of this whole thing oh yeah book summary videos boop boop and maybe a blog post it would probably help me to, to write a blog post because i'm uh, much more eloquent when i'm writing and not when i'm speaking <laughs> 
okay that's pretty much that the workbook i have it like a preliminary draft of it i was thinking that i was going to release it publicly in a in a version 1.0 kind of thing and then make improvements for next year like if anybody wants to join you know that's up to you but there's gonna be a separate video for that okay who me and this is a project all year is the timeline basically what does the successful completion of this goal look like i guess when i've paid off 50 percent of total debt attainable what resources does this require time energy and my work I'm pretty sure I have everything I need. Um, that's kind of the theme of the year, isn't it? My maker's year, I gotta work with what I have. Also, I love you, Saturn. Please be kind. Realistic, what is the hard part of this goal? Not panicking. What is the scary part? That despite all of the hard work I'm going to be putting in, it's not gonna pay off. What do I actually have control over? Uh, the work I put in, uh, the value I create, what is beyond my control? Whether people buy my stuff aligned does this goal violate no it's fine what values does this goal uphold creativity what will i not do in order to reach this goal get in more debt sustainable where will i face resistance <sighs> wanting to buy stuff of course what is my plan for rest and replenishment while i work on this goal debtors anonymous meetings uh sponsor and doing some woo stuff because i like woo stuff like affirmations maybe i don't like the idea of having to say them out loud, especially into a mirror, but maybe that's what I need to do. Hmm. Support. Who can I get support from? Um, that's also uh, Debtors Anon and a sponsor. And if you want to support my work, then go to my Etsy shop. <laughs> what specifically does this support look like in this instance? Oh, also Saturn. Saturn's here. There we go. We're going to go like that and we're going to go like that. Whoosh. There he is. Also, the Morrigan's here. Yay. Oh, love her! Okay, why do I want to do this thing? Obviously, because I want to, um... I want to make it up to my family and stop clinging to things. Stop clinging to a material life. Okay, next, we have practice. So this is my, my Etsy. Etsy biz. So I want to stock my shop with a range of offerings. All right, specific. I honestly don't know how many designs that I have on my computer that just need to be listed. So, you know, I need to make all of the thumbnails and do all the, the listing stuff. That's that's the most blech part of this whole thing for me. So, I don't know. I don't even know how many listings I have currently. Speaking of listings, I still have two paper copies of the Memento Mori Goal Planner. I am probably going to disassemble them and just sell them as inserts without any dividers or anything like that. Or, you know, there can be a, a, an option where you, you can choose things. I gotta do that. All right, so I'm just gonna take a quick, quick look and transfer these things over here. Well, that happened. Oopsie. Okay, so this is me and my shop. I'm sorry if you hear my husband talking in the back. We record whenever we have time, and this is going to be a series of projects, and um, oh, I gotta pay taxes, so that's a whole ordeal. Oh my god, okay. QuickBooks, so that means I need to invest in that. God. All right, QuickBooks, and then I gotta log expenses. All of that administration stuff. <sighs> okay. Should that be in money? That should probably be in money. I also have the Memento Mori goal planner for 2024. I want to release that in October. So I need to start thinking ahead about any changes because that's that's my flagship, basically. So, so if you happen to buy... The Memento Mori Goal Planner and there are improvements that you want to see happen. Um, if there is anything 
I know that I tend to talk or ramble a lot. If there's something that I've over explained that I can shorten, please let me know. Just be kind. Don't be a dick about it. I appreciate you and thank you very much. Measurable. What is successful? Please? Okay, this looks like a, a shop where there's a lot of stuff. I don't know. A smorgasbord. How do I know when it's complete? It's never complete. It's never complete. I can always make more things. There's no more designs hanging out on my computer that are not in my shop. Of course, there's some wiggle room there because some, some things are just for me or some things I'm just experimenting with um, and are not considered um, final products. Uh, okay, so attainable. What resources does this go? Obviously, time and energy attention. I need my, oh, speaking of that, I need my iPad for this, for my editing. I edit my videos on my iPad. I use LumaFusion in case anybody's wondering. <sighs> iPad for Procreate, Cricut. I need to calibrate my Cricut because it's cutting off center again. Computer, I guess InDesign. And also for anyone who's wondering, I am still using InDesign CS 5.5, the design something or other. It's something that I bought when I was a student and so I, I, I have that luxury of not having to pay a monthly fee because it's something that I invested a lot of money in up front and I am kind of sad that Adobe went to a subscription model just because there are so many subscriptions nowadays. Everything is just like so much money. <laughs> Realistic. What's the hard part of this goal? Uh motivation. Poor time management. What's the scary part? I would say not being able to keep up. All right, so I, what do I control? I control what I create and list in my shop. I do not control sales or engagement. So really, you know, all I can do is do my work and then hope that someone out there likes what I've done. <laughs> Aligned. So this, what values does this, so this is creativity. What will I not do in order to reach this goal? Plagiarism? Sustainable. Where will I face resistance? Admin work? Because it's boring. What is my plan? So we're going to do a five, two, three, two, five, what is it called? Five, four, three, two, one. I know how to count. Five second rule. Thank you, Mel Robbins. Plus a Pomodoro to get that going. And balance with play, please. Support. Who can I get support from? Well, I mean, nobody. This is, this is my work, so. I guess, um, I will go for, like, spiritual self-care kind of stuff. Oh, speaking of that, I want to add tarot to my routines here. I'm, I'm still not sure exactly what my morning routine or my evening routine is specifically is going to look like. I might move things around so like maybe Taro is going to be at night. Um, I do know that this is going to be, this is the Chani Astro Planner and this is going to be my Taro journal. You know, like it has last night I dreamt my intention for the day. So that's exciting. I'm excited to break into this. All right, why do I want to do this thing? Creating is fun. I also want to do some paintings. I don't really know what I want to paint yet though. And, you know, aside from the art journals. I kind of want to do a Morrigan devotional painting, but I don't know. It's been two years. Wow, two years. So I feel like it's time that I do something like that, as if the Memento Mori goal planner for her was not enough. But when you love your god, is it really ever enough? I don't know. My reward for stocking my shop. Hopefully sales? Question <laughs> mark? I don't know. All right, now we're into play. And I don't have a whole lot of stuff for that, which is, you know, go figure. So I want to play games. Um, that also goes into, oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to do my Otome game journal. So that means, and also character analysis. So I wanted to, you know, do, do that on camera. That also means I'm going to be playing more games, hopefully. We're gonna keep this simple. So what games do I wanna play? Your Turn to Die, the, the official release is coming out this month, next month, sorry, January. I wanna play Greedfall, A Plague Tale, Cat Tales. I have like a bajillion other things that I wanna do. So we also have tabletops, tabletop RP, Jesus Christ. <sighs> That's right, you heard me say it. Tabletop RP Jesus Christ. Also, that's that's really all that we have there. Why do I want to do this thing? Having fun is fun. It keeps the fun alive. Top goal for play. Oh yeah, K-dramas are also fun. And anime. And read more manga, please. Yes. 
And then all of these things can be put in story journal. I'm sorry if you hear my family in the background. Play games and do other hobbies for replenishment. We're almost done, you guys. Oh, wait, I forgot one. Did I no, I did that, okay. Low content books on Amazon. I wanna look into that and possibly do some of those, like notebooks or something. So this is me and Sunny, probably. Maybe Tyler, maybe Pat. I don't know. Stardew Valley, of course. What is this successful? I guess it's a project because each game has multiple like chapters, right? Sort of stages, completion. It's definitely not a one and done because I also want to get my achievements. Okay. Measurable. What does the successful completion of this goal look like? Feel like, how do I know when it's complete? When I get 100% completion on Steam, I'm kind of joking, but also if I just get tired of it, then I know it, like I'm done with it. <laughs> Just making progress on games and being being immersed in new worlds. Yeah, I think the B6stology is going to be a really good choice for the story journal. I guess it's going to be a game and story journal because it's, it's small enough to just sit on my desk or carry around if I'm gonna watch something. Usually I watch it on my computer, but yeah, like I can just sit on my desk and be small and not offensive. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. All right, attainable. What resources does this goal require from me? Abandon, let go of work thoughts, let go of the to-do list, unless it's, you know, like how to get this achievement. That's a to-do list I, I need to remember. Let go and have fun. Also time and energy and attention and also my computer. I should also finish, well, my husband plays a PS4 game now, so he plays Genshin on, on PS4, so that kind of locks that away from me because I wanted to finish Dragon Quest 11, which he got for me like two years ago. Realistic, what's the hard part of this goal? Letting go, I'm gonna say. What's the scary part? My work won't get done. My work won't get done, I won't make money, and we're all gonna starve. <laughs> what do I actually have control over? I control my willing suspension of disbelief, which is usually very willing. What is beyond my control? Other players. And let's say also the story quality, like whether or not I'm gonna like it. Aligned. What's oh, fine. Is good. What values does this goal uphold? Let's say curiosity and creativity. I bet, you know, I think there's a bit of compassion because I, I tend to like games that center on characters. So there you go. Um, what will I not do in order to reach this goal? What will I not do to, to play? Get angry at myself for playing. Sustainable. Where will I face resistance um, if I feel behind in my work? or my family life, then um, I'm going to feel guilty about taking time for myself. What is my plan for rest and replenishment while I work on this goal, on this goal of playing? <laughs> Have no expectations. That way you're always surprised. Support, who can I get support from with this goal? Sunny, Nick, Pat, if he wants to play with me. Uh, Tyler, if he wants to play with me. I really want my friend Tyler to do um, Twitch stream me about like playing Otome games and just commenting on the games and stuff. I think that would be really fun. What specifically does support look like in this instance? Playing games with me. Why do I want to do this thing? Why do I want to play? Play is like the ultimate replenishment and is necessary for creativity. All right, top goal for play. Last one. I know everyone is super cheering right now. I am cheering. This has been like a multiple day uh, thing here. That's why I say in, in the beginning of this that, the, you know, you cannot rush through this because it is too long. We're almost there. We're almost there, okay? Almost there. Top goal for curiosity and passion. What did I write? So I want to get through my courses. Over the years, I've bought a few courses and have not, you know, gotten through the ones that I've bought. So I want to dedicate this year to like getting through all of my backlog here. Um, I have a number of certifications, including the Moonology certification, uh, a Death Doula certification. Yeah, I'm just curious. That's like probably my, I was gonna say deadly sin, curiosity. That's not a deadly sin though, but uh, my double-edged sword there. Um, I need to make a list of courses. So we're gonna start with make list of courses and then order them from most want to do now <laughs> to least want to do question mark I don't know 
then schedule them into months. So I want to try to do one course a month maybe at least all right so specific I guess I just did that so I I can't do the specific exactly because I I need my list of courses so that will that will be on a separate piece of paper or something I have like a Microsoft to-do list with courses listed on it but it's not comprehensive it's not a comprehensive list so okay this is a project I think because you know every course has multiple things and stuff you know? Measurable. What does the successful completion of this goal look like? Certifications. New knowledge. New skills. How do I know when it's complete? I mean, that's when the class shows 100% completed. Attainable. What resources does... Okay, just time and energy. Attention. I have everything I need, I think. What's the hard part of this goal? Making time to study. Maybe I will use a library date instead. There is no scary part really, except for like wasting money maybe. What do I actually have controller? So I control what course I want to work on. And uh, what is beyond my control? Interruptions? I, I hate using that word because life is but a series of interruptions and you just do the best you can to stay on course. Like I hate thinking about, you know, my family as an interruption to my work, but you can also think about your work as an interruption to your family or to your playtime or you know literally anything else so it's just all about perspective I guess I just I can't think of a better way to frame it aligned check mark and this is my curiosity at work what will I not do in order to reach this goal do not buy any more courses this year I love learning it's really fun but I think part of the, what I'm supposed to be learning is to trust my own inner knowledge and not depend on knowledge from everybody else. Sustainable. Where will I face resistance? I'm gonna say just life op obligations. I have, you know, the tendency to just put the things that I want to do aside if other things come up. What is my plan for rest and replenishment? I mean, I might have to do like a library day to work on coursework. I really don't know. Who can I get support from with this goal? Uh, what specifically does support look like in this instance? Um, I don't really think I can get support. I don't think I really need support with this. So yeah, I don't know. So I, I have purple is like the spiritual color for me in my head. So while, you know, I have Morgan Grimoire for October here and a, a read tarot and manifestation journal, like these things are not courses. It's because they're spiritual. And I, I always think of coursework as being spiritual because they feed my soul or spirit if you will um so don't mind that did i put morrigan um i wanted to do a month-long morrigan dedication with my videos this upcoming year but i guess i'm not confident in my knowledge even though i've taken the morgan intensive twice and i have a like i've done a bunch of courses i just feel like who am i to be instructing anyone on this goddess but um i just got emotional that means i i i hit a nerve <laughs> In my spiritual journey, if I start crying, I know I have like something, something's just come up that's powerful. But yeah. Why do I want to do this thing? Why do I want to? I want to feed my spirit and expand my set of skills so that I can be of service to more people. My reward for completing this goal is gonna be what? Did I do a reward for this one? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Be, so my re reward financially, being closer to financial freedom. Here we go. Alignment and self-expression. My reward is reaching and connecting with people through my work. I know that sounds like it should be connection, but like everything is very blurry and wibbly wobbly. Um, my reward for completing my health goal would be less pain and stronger body. Yeah, I'm really bad at, at 
try to come up with rewards because I feel like just working on these things is the point, but my reward for completing the play goal? I don't know. I would love to have a Switch, but um, I'm on a no-buy, so <laughs> maybe not. Not this year, because the, the Switch has a lot of Otome games, and I want to play them. Alright, so pie in the sky, I'm just gonna write a Switch, even though like I would have to save for it, which is not a priority because I have too much debt to pay down, so maybe I'll do a, a fund. Not a GoFundMe, I mean like a jar. <laughs> My reward for completing this goal is what? Certifications and new skills. They are a reward unto themselves. So yeah, that's that's all the goal setting. Aren't you excited? Because I'm excited. Now I can take a, a drink of water. My throat's very itchy. And I will come back to this after I eat my dinner. All right, then? Okay, all right, bye-bye.